Hi everyone, I'm Maha Salah from Middle East Monitor. And today for our last video in our Ramadan series, Ramadan Basics, we're going to end on a sweet note with our dessert, Madlu'a, which is really known in the Levant. It consists of a semolina base and a milk layer on top. It's absolutely delicious. We're going to start with the mother of all basics when it comes to any Middle Eastern dessert, which is atr, or a simple syrup. In Ramadan, we generally have dessert almost every night, or at least some fresh fruit. And for lots of people, this is the highlight of their Ramadan meals. I love to have cold desserts, especially in warmer weather, because I find them less heavy and cooling. Madlu'a is made in different ways across the Levant, with some making it with a semolina base, and others with a knafa dough base. Today, I'll be showing you how to make it with semolina, which is how my family enjoys it. The word madluqa comes from the Arabic word dalaqa, which means to pour something. And this refers to how we pour the two layers over each other. The two layers of this dessert are the semolina base, consisting of toasted semolina and sugar syrup, and the milk pudding topping. For your semolina base, it's traditionally toasted with ghee, but I prefer butter. However, feel free to use what you prefer. It's important that you constantly move the semolina around the plate so that everything gets browned evenly and nothing gets burnt. Once it's time to add your sugar syrup, make sure to reduce the heat because it will start to bubble vigorously. I added a cup and a quarter of water to my mixture, but you may need to add a little bit more depending on how much water your semolina absorbs. So just make sure the semolina mixture is wet enough, but not soupy. You're looking for a porridge-like texture. As for the milk layer, it's important to mix your ingredients together before putting them on the heat and to make sure that the flour and corn flour are dissolved to avoid lumps. After putting in your ishta, make sure to whisk it quickly so that it's incorporated and that the pudding regains its thickness before taking it off the heat. A trick I like to do to avoid the milk forming a layer on the top is to press my cling film directly on the milk after pouring it in the tray and that way the milk doesn't form an unappetizing skin. One of the best parts about cold desserts, especially in Ramadan or when you're having dinner guests, is that they are something that you can make ahead of time like the day before and put in the fridge until you're ready to serve, meaning you have one less thing to worry about on the day. Also, the longer this sits in the fridge, the better it sets, so it's actually the better choice. Once you're ready to serve, garnish with crushed pistachios and a small drizzle of cold syrup and enjoy. I love the contrast of the nutty toasted semolina with the creamy milk, and I hope you do too.